Hey, I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today we're gonna make a room divider inspired by Star Wars. Today we're back here at the office, specifically in our conference room. It's really kind of our gaming room. But we built that table recently so that we can have meetings in here, we can play Dungeons and Dragons and other games. One of the big problems with this room though is the giant window. And normally that wouldn't be a problem, but it lets in a ton of light. We recently got it tinted and it still is just uncontrollable. So today we're gonna create a privacy wall that pretty much covers the whole window. But it's gonna be made in a way that we can open and close to let light in sometimes and completely black it out other times. So the first thing we need to do here is take a bunch of measurements of the space and then head into Fusion 360. So when we first got the building, I measured the entire space, the podcast studio here, the bullpen, and in the front lobby so that I can model everything in Fusion 360. When we made the gaming table, I was able to place it in the space to see how it looked, and I was also able to capture an image from outside. I brought all that into Fusion 360 so now I can make the panel to fit perfectly in the space and to see what it's going to look like in a mock-up. Boop. Boop. So these panels are going to be placed on casters inside the frame so that we can open and close them as we want to to let in as little or as much light as we want to. We don't normally use the door on the front of the building, but just in case we get deliveries or something, we decided to break these panels up into a larger section and a smaller section. And we can take the smaller section and we can set it back away from the door so you can still use it to enter and exit the building if we needed to. Because I made this infusion, it's super easy to take it into the manufacturing environment so that I can cut all of these panels out on our big Avid CNC and it can do all that work for us. Now because we have a big CNC, there's really no sense in me wasting time doing all this by hand. But I want to show you that it's possible and it's not very hard. The only tools you need are a jigsaw and a drill. And so what I did here on this scrap of material is just draw out a straight line. And I'm going to draw a couple more lines, basically just to make a rectangle. And then on the ends of that rectangle, I'm going to use this inside diameter of this roll of tape. It's the exact same size as the pill shape that we're using on the CNC. So we're going to lay this down and trace it, and then we can just cut it out. A couple more notes on this process if you're going to do it. Having some good sandpaper, maybe a sanding sponge to get the inside of this nice and flat and round is definitely going to be handy. And you want to make sure that if you're using thicker material, you want to go slower. Because otherwise, if you try to go too fast, the blade will deflect and then you won't have a flat cut. We've got the first set of panels cut from the CNC. These are the fixed panels. These are gonna be mounted against the wall. They are not gonna move. The thinner panels on this side are gonna end up moving. But we need to attach these two panels together at all of these different little connection points. And to do that, we're gonna use a biscuit joiner. This is a tool that cuts a slot in two pieces of wood where they make a butt joint. And then you put this little thing called a biscuit in between them and it helps align the pieces of wood. So let me get these things laid down and then we'll get the biscuit joiner out. This thing's really easy to use. Basically, you line up your two pieces and make a line across the two pieces, and then you use that line as your center point. So this has a little center marking on it. You just line that up with your mark, and then basically this is spring-loaded, so you line it up, make sure that it's flat, and then you push it together. The spinning blade inside this part cuts a slot and then backs itself out. This video is sponsored by us, specifically our online course, Fusion 360 for Makers. Right here at I Like to Make Stuff, we do a lot of different types of projects. We've got 3D printing stuff, we've got woodworking and metalworking and 
room size renovations, and all of those things start for us right in Fusion 360. Fusion 360 is a great piece of CAD software that can help you turn your ideas into reality. And that's whether you're gonna be using a 3D printer or a CNC machine, or if you just need to pre-visualize a room renovation or a piece of furniture that you're gonna build in your wood shop. Just like any piece of software, there is a learning curve to Fusion 360. And all the information's out there, but it's really hard to find everything that you need. So what we did was make an online course to try to streamline the learning process so you can get to turning your ideas into reality very quickly. If you wanna try the course out, we've got the first several videos that you can watch for free and if you want to keep going we've got a link and a discount code down in the description that you can get so that it's even cheaper we spent a lot of time on this course we really want it to be valuable for you so go check it out and make something awesome we've got almost all the pieces painted so now we're ready to start putting it together uh, we've got the big section laid down here on its face and what we need to do is add a header and a footer piece to the back side of this then we're gonna stand it up. Basically, we're gonna be sandwiching this piece in between some headers and footers on both sides, and that's gonna create a little rail along the bottom. And then we can put our nice big finished wall on top of that so that it will slide back and forth on that rail. Now, we were originally gonna paint all of this stuff, but once we got the plywood done for this exposed face, it looks so cool, I just decided not to paint it, so we put some clear coat on it, it's good to go. So our final product's gonna end up having that wood grain over top of white, and I think it's gonna look awesome. So the first thing we gotta do is screw in the header and footer, then we can stand this thing up and attach it to the wall. Now that we've got the header and footer on there, the next thing is to figure out exactly where the rollers need to be along the bottom so that the holes in this face and the holes in the big stationary part line up. So we're gonna take this, lay it down on the fixed piece, clamp them together so all the holes line up, and then we can use the bottom edge of this as a reference as to where to put the wheels. Another thing I want to point out, if you were going to make something like this, uh, you don't want to necessarily have all the pieces together when you lift it up because it's already going to be heavy enough. We wanted to make sure that the sliding part could be able to come out. So with these spacers, there's a gap right here. And this is enough room for our sliding panel to be able to be lifted up into this cavity. Then we can take the bottom out of the track and remove that entire panel. So we can put this all up in place and then lift the sliding panel into a slot. We got both these panels stood up, but they're not attached to anything yet. They're just wedged in between the floor and the ceiling. And so now we need to permanently attach them so they don't fall on somebody, because that'd be bad. We have kind of a different situation here as this is a commercial building. We've got to deal with an exit sign and the right size openings around the door and all that type of stuff. But the next step here is to get these things fixed to the wall so we can do touch-up painting, and then they're done. So what we're gonna do is actually attach this MDF to this aluminum frame that goes on the window. I've got a few of these pieces cut as spacers, and we're gonna use some sheet metal screws to screw this into the aluminum, stack another one on top, screw it in, another one on top, all the way up to this piece, so that this main wall is attached all the way to the outside wall, and that should be good enough to hold it in place.
So now the front of that stack that I just made is gonna touch the back of this piece. So once I get it slid back in place, I can just drive in a couple of screws and it'll tie this entire thing to the wall. So I've got one of these pills down here. Gotta do another one up top so we've got two connection points. Should be good. Whoa. Must have hit a screw. Oh yeah, right in the middle. Nice. That's amazing. So we need to connect this wall to the one that's already fixed in place. And to do that, we're gonna add a little stringer that runs across here that lays against the ceiling. And the reason we're gonna lay it against the ceiling flat is so that we don't cover up the exit sign. So we're gonna lay it this way and put some pocket holes in the backside of this piece. And since we can get above it by taking out the ceiling tiles, we can add some screws and then we can paint it white so you probably won't see it. We got a support put on the top, a support put on the bottom, so they are fixed in place, and we also touched up the paint. The last thing to do is to just slide these big panels in place, and this thing will be done. So this thing turned out great. It's really easy to use and it totally does what we need. It's great for blocking out the sun. Thought about motorizing it. Turns out you didn't really need to. It's easy to do by hand. We also considered putting these walls on wheels so that you could roll them up against the window or roll them out of the way if you need to. There's some great options for this type of privacy wall if you wanted to make one for yourself. One of the coolest things about using Fusion 360 for this project is that it helps pre-visualize a room scale thing in your room and it also was able to create the cut paths to cut all these pieces out. Now, of course, we showed that you don't have to have a CNC to do this stuff, but it definitely makes it faster. If you are interested in learning Fusion 360, we're gonna give you a special deal this month only, 10% off the course. Down in the description, you're gonna find the code and the link to go get that course so you can start finally learning Fusion. This is the third thing that we built in this room using Fusion 360. We've got our gaming table, we've got the big Star Wars console, We've still got a lot of extra space, and so we need some other ideas from you of other things that we could build to put in this room to make it even cooler. Let us know down in the comments. We've also got tons of other types of projects that you may want to check out, and if you're not subscribed, be sure to do that as well. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. We're going to be putting biscuits in all of these little locations where the pieces touch, and, and, doy. First thing we got to do is screw in the header and footie. So close. We got both of these. Is finished and it turned out great. Bye. That's it. <laughs>